Hello everybody, this is Dave from RedYourCityTV.ca and David Mask Films in Red Hill, Alberta, Canada. Uh, I just want to pass out some interesting and exciting news from Magic Mansion. Um, they have discovered how to implement 10 and 12-bit raw video. That's right, you heard me right. 10-bit and 12-bit raw video. Pretty cool, eh? Uh, normally, we're just at 14-bit, as you know, and uh, they figured the way um, it was always in the camera. Of course, a lot of backwards, uh, low-level engineering, backwards uh, engineering of the software and stuff, uh, and uh, it's there. Cool. So we have 10-bit and 12-bit. Now, it doesn't work in all cameras. Uh, I'm recording this right now on my 5D Mark II. It works in crop mode only, properly, um, with audio. I'm recording this in MOV uh, version 2.0 with audio um, and uh, I'm recording at, if I'm not mistaken, 2144 by 1076 uh, and 24 frames a second. So that's continuous. So yeah, crop mode. And of course in crop mode you, you know, you have your, uh, every, uh, every line is being accounted for. No, uh, no uh, pixel, uh, uh, sort of uh, no line skipping involved. So, but the cameras that do work fully are the 5D Mark III, the EOS M, uh, the 70D, I do believe, uh, 60D, um, and it is working on a few other cameras, but um, it's still in a tr in a highly experimental stage. Uh, it is not in the nightly build right now. Uh, I don't know when it will be. It, there's still a lot of issues until it's portable across all cameras. I don't expect to see it there. If you want to test it out and, and try it for your own, uh, you pretty much you have to com learn how to compile your uh, your software yourself. Or if, if somebody feels really nice in the form, if you ask nicely, uh, I'm quite sure somebody might uh, compile a, a build for your camera, for specific cameras. Um, but the more testers, the better. Um, and anybody that knows how to do any C coding um, and doesn't mind spending hours and hours and hours trying to figure out stuff. So, but it is coming. So it, I, I expect it uh, in the new year. Something, something more concrete should happen. I would, I would suspect. Uh, also, uh, I just want to pass on some new updates. Um, there is uh, learned how to get into the internal um, Canon compression. So there's uh, on the raw side there's raw uh, lawless JPEG compression, I do believe, um, and it is similar to something you would see on a red camera with their two to one, three to one compression. So they're getting the size down. About half is what I've seen so far. So a five, but it's only in photo mode right now. So it's, hopefully it'll work its way down to video mode, which would be cool. Um, so with the bit reduction um, from 10 and 12 bit, uh, there's new um, updated uh, inc uh, de um, extractors. Uh, MOV producer, uh, he has implemented 10 and 12 bit. It's still, like I said, there's still some bugs. So like I say, this is highly experimental. Uh, also, MOVFS is supported. It was built around this possibility at some point. So it has been uh, implemented totally. So it works 100% Mac and PC. Um, and they have it also, they call what MOV dump. And what it does is just extracts the uh, DEGs um, from uh, the container uh, and it's just it runs a command line and that's been updated as well so um, it is uh, what it does do is also give the low-end cameras um, uh, like the 60D and stuff like that with the SD cards um, it gives them the ability to record longer and or to record at higher resolutions for extended period of time on the full frame cameras with the 5D Mark II and the 5D Mark III, um, we're able to go bigger resolutions in crop mode. 
Uh, so I'm recording at, at the maximum size that I can on my 5D Mark II in only 10-bit, so 12-bit. Uh, it, it's not quite workable just yet. Um, and also, uh, they have started to look at the fact that to expand the crop window, there is some um, code out there right now that there looks like a possibility that these crop modes, we may be able to expand them further. So for instance, on the 5D Mark III, I know you're up around 3.5K uh, horizontal. And uh, they're talking and they're talking about um, be able to expand that. So you expand that window bigger. And of course, on the 5D Mark II, that'd be great too, because then we can expand it further, hopefully maybe 3K. And with internal raw compression, it's all working together uh, for us. So uh, yeah, these old cameras are still going strong and they're still competing with all the new stuff and uh, even competing with the 5D Mark IV now. So it's pretty cool stuff. So I uh, head over to the forum. Um, there's a link there, uh, and uh, I'll leave uh, a place where you, where the best parts start reading, and where the discussion is. Because this discussion has been going on since 2013, but only recently it's been be able to get implemented properly. So it's been going it's been going on for quite a while. So hopefully uh, get over to the forum, check it out, read it out and experimented with it and the more people the merrier and we can push this way this this forward faster and get it uh in a stable build all right so this is dave from red deer city tv and david mazga films in red deer alberta have a happy have a happy new year and a very prosperous 2017 cheers